Dan's train update. I'm working on plaster Paris molded rocks. And I'm using bare paint from Home Depot. And this particular one is like elephant ear, elephant skin, I should say. It's a dark gray. I mix it with water. And then I, and I make it pretty like a watercolor. And I'll show you. So, like this sort of. And you just put it on and take a look at the rock and see if you're going to like that particular. I'm thinking I'm going to wash that down a little bit. Yeah, I decided that that was um, too dark. So I've thinned it out some more. And we'll just see what we, we'll just drop one in here. Take a look at it. Yeah, that's kind of more where we will want to be. Let me see that. You want it to be kind of a watercolor. Let's see what this one looks like. You want a little bit of the white to show through. Because it shows like a, an aged. Go to the rest here. Okay, I got about half of them done. One of the things I learned to do is kind of interesting. If you put glue on these things before you um, stain them with paint, it gives an artificial look like there's a, um, a mineral or a um, crystal in the rock. Let's see if another one in here. Yeah, like see that one there. It's kind of a tricky little deal. I, I stumbled on that by accident, actually, uh, in doing these. So you can see it really good on this one gives a kind of an de interesting detail to the rock. Here's an example of the finished product. I haven't done the grounds yet, but that's the rock face. I've got it here, and then I put it in over here also. And it came out pretty well, I think. I like it. Here's one I did um, with a little dressing of uh, greenery and stuff. To, um, to dress it up a little bit, give it a different look. And anyway, that concludes my rock demonstration. I hope you enjoy uh, working with Placer Paris stones and uh, incorporating them into your layout. This is mine, and I love it. Have a good time.